Lex Fridman just dropped a bombshell podcast with Sam Altman this week, and it's anything but ordinary. Packed with updates and bold predictions for the year 2024, this talk is simply a goldmine. When is GPT-5 coming out again? Blink twice if it's this year. <laughs> What's this mysterious Q-Star project? Is it also in the same nuclear facility? There is no nuclear facility. I've seen journalists half-assedly just using GPT-4. It's, it's of the long list of things I'd like to dunk on journalists for, this is not my top criticism of them. Does this increase your belief if you ever had one that we live in a simulation? Maybe a simulated world uh, generated by an AI system? Yes, somewhat. With over a million views in 48 hours, it's clear that this is the hot topic of the hour. But don't worry, you won't need to sit through the full two hours podcast. Our video has got you covered with all the juicy details in just eight minutes. From alien life to the latest on GPT-5 and Sora, and even Sam's take on the recent lawsuit from Elon Musk, we're diving deep into the controversies that are stirring the tech world. Number 9. Q-Star. Lex asked Altman about the secretive Q-Star project at OpenAI. Though details are sparse, Q-Star is rumored to be a leap toward AI that can think step by step, like us humans. At first, Altman jokingly referred to there being no nuclear facility at OpenAI, playing along with Lex's joke about OpenAI keeping secrets. However, Altman then acknowledged that OpenAI has struggled with leaks, making it difficult to keep projects truly secret. He was trying to say that a leaked document describes QSTAR as an advanced chat system by OpenAI using energy-based models. Unlike typical models, QSTAR doesn't just throw out words randomly. It carefully selects responses by evaluating their compatibility with the conversation's context, making its interactions more natural and smarter. So when Lex directly asked about Q-Star, Altman did not provide many specifics. He said they are not ready to discuss it in detail. Altman stated that while they are very interested in better reasoning AI, they haven't cracked the code on it yet, with Q-Star or otherwise. Reasoning. We haven't cracked the code yet. Uh, we're, in, we're very interested in it. Is there going to be moments, QSTAR or otherwise, where there's going to be leaps similar to ChatGPT? You know, part of the reason that we deploy the way we do is. However, he did imply that QSTAR relates to OpenAI's interest in advancing reasoning capabilities in AI systems, which they see as an important area to pursue. Number eight predictions about AGI. In the interview, Sam Altman talked about artificial general intelligence and its timeline. He mentioned that it's hard to define AGI clearly and suggested focusing on specific abilities rather than general goals. According to Altman, there will be big improvements in AI by the end of the decade 2030, maybe leading to AGI. When do you think we, you and we as humanity will build AGI? Is I expect that by the end of this decade and possibly somewhat sooner than that, we will have quite capable systems that we look at it and say, wow, that's really remarkable. But he also mentioned the risks of AGI and said it's crucial to have good rules and shared control over AI. He believes no one should have all the power over AGI development and supports having regulations to ensure AI is used ethically and responsibly. Number seven, no Google clone. 
Sam Altman also talked about how Google has been the go-to platform for accessing information for the past 20 years. He mentioned that while Google has been dominant in this area, he doesn't find the idea of just trying to copy Google's search engine very interesting. Sam Altman expresses a clear preference against the advertisement-driven business model, particularly criticizing how Google relies on ads to provide information. He believes that using AI, like ChatGPT, can transform how people access and interact with information, moving beyond just a better version of Google's search engine filled with ads and links. Altman favors a direct payment model where users pay for services like ChatGPT, ensuring the information they receive isn't influenced by advertisers. He said he's skeptical about ads and envisions AI improving user experience without ad biases, suggesting a move towards transparent, user-focused models. Number 6. Sora As you may know, Sora is an AI tool developed by OpenAI. It's a visual AI model that has garnered significant attention due to its remarkable ability to transform text instructions into captivating videos. When discussing Sora, Sam Altman highlights its potential and the challenges associated with its development. He mentions the need to address concerns about deep fakes and misinformation while also ensuring that AI tools are used responsibly. Sam emphasizes the importance of thoughtful consideration in AI development and suggests that continued evolution in economic models will be necessary to address the impact of AI on various industries. Number 5. Legal Dispute with Elon Musk Elon is obviously attacking us on Twitter right now. I definitely grew up with Elon as a hero of mine. You know, despite him being a jerk on Twitter or whatever, I wish he would do more to look at the hard work we're doing to get this stuff right. Regarding Elon Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI, Sam Altman provides insights into the history of the situation. He explains that Elon Musk wanted more control over OpenAI, including the possibility of merging it with Tesla, but OpenAI chose to continue in a direction that differed from Elon's vision. Sam expresses sadness about the lawsuit, considering Elon Musk's stature as one of the greatest builders of our time. Despite the tensions, Sam hopes for an amicable relationship with Elon in the future and emphasizes the importance of friendly competition in driving innovation. Sam Altman tweeted when Elon Musk sued them. Number 4. Challenging Period At OpenAI, Sam Altman discusses a challenging period at OpenAI emphasizing the importance of resilience during tough situations. He recounts changes in the company's board and the criteria for selecting new members. Altman highlights the need for diverse expertise on the board to make decisions that consider societal impacts, reflecting on the lessons learned to drive progress in artificial intelligence. Number 3. Ilya Sutskever's Future when someone asks Sam Altman about Ilya Sutskever, Sam talks about him with a lot of respect and admiration. He makes it clear that they have known each other for a long time. I love Ilya. I have tremendous respect for Ilya. I, uh, I don't have anything I can like say about his plans right now. That's, that's a question for him. Um, but I really hope we work together for, you know, certainly the rest of my career. He's a little bit younger than me. Maybe he works a little bit longer. <laughs> Also, he denies any rumors about Ilya being held captive in a secret facility and speaks highly of Ilya's commitment to dealing with worries about AGI and how it could affect society. Sam points out that Ilya, like everyone else, hasn't actually seen AGI yet and praises him for being very serious about making sure AGI development is done safely. Number 2. 7 Trillion Chip Project Altman clarified that he had not tweeted about wanting to raise 7 trillion for a chip project. Instead, he explained that sometimes memes are used when misinformation circulates, but there was no specific tweet about needing such a large sum of money. Compute is the currency of the future. His belief is that computer power will become a valuable commodity in the future, potentially surpassing traditional currencies in importance. 
Meeting this demand presents a significant challenge due to energy requirements, data center expansion, supply chain development, and chip production. Number one, aliens. In the chat, Altman and Lex talk about the idea of aliens. I think, uh, as I mentioned before, there's other alien civilizations out there, intelligent ones. I deeply want to believe that the answer is yes. I do find the kind of where, I, I find the Fermi paradox very, very puzzling. I find it scary. That intelligence is not good at handling. Yeah, it's very scary. Powerful yeah. technologies. Sam thinks there are probably lots of smart alien civilizations out there, even though traveling in space is hard. He says that AI might help us see intelligence in new ways. He sees hope in how humans have grown over time, noticing both our mistakes and our great achievements. He compares our progress as a group to how individuals get better by working together. Sam also talks about how he feels about life in the future. Instead of being scared of dying, he's thankful for life and curious about what's next. He mentions how amazing human creations are, like advances in AI such as ChatGPT. Other than that, Sam Altman also talks about various topics. For example, Sam Altman predicts that programming will evolve significantly in the next five to 10 years, with some programmers possibly using entirely natural language instead of traditional coding methods. He believes this shift will change the required skill set for programmers, but maintain the essence of problem solving in programming. Altman also envisions the best programmers using a mix of natural language and traditional coding. Additionally, he expressed interest in developing humanoid robots or robots for physical tasks, highlighting a future where AI and robotics significantly intersect to extend AI's utility beyond digital spaces. So, that wraps up our discussion for today. We've covered all the key points in this short video. However, if you're curious about Sam Altman's personality, how he thinks, acts, and responds in various situations, I recommend watching the full podcast. Well, what do you think of this podcast? Comment down below and share your insights with us. Also, check out these videos on your screen for more interesting and AI-related content.